I feel rather brilliant right now. Remember that time I threatened to thrash Timmy Hargreaves because he said rotten things about Sally? And it turned out he had an older brother who'd been in the army, and he was waiting for me on my doorstep when I came home from school. And he gave me such a thrashing. Why would I remember that right now? Sally was in on the scheme. No. Wait. She's being very nice about it, but she's not at all on board, is she? Hmm. The salamander seems to think Veloc's solution is a tad rash. Well, it's alarming, given what she considers reasonably cautious.
Dr. Verloc is thinking very hard, sir. No visitors. The brominating reaction has caught fire. Sir, sorry to bother you, sir, but there's a fellow here who says the reaction tank is on fire again. I said no interruptions. Some of the byproducts are poisonous. He says it's poisonous, sir. Of course there are poisonous byproducts. Tell him to do whatever they did the last time. Dr. Verloc would like you to do whatever you did the last time. No one knows that. He's an imposter. Implement security protocol 187. Oh, yes, sir. That's my favorite protocol. I am full of the fury of the Lord, and I am right weary with holding back. Right. No more, Mr. Oh. <laughs> Hello? Ye shall not deceive me with empty words, well, for the wrath of God comes upon the sons of disobedience. battery of tests done on the latest isomer. Now, where is it? Why is it not in the pneumatic? Do any of you want to keep your jobs? I'll have you all replaced by Mrs. Pankhurst's bridge club. They'll do a better job than you people. struggle. This won't take a minute. It's me. Oh, 
sorry to bother. Oh. Phrenology? Was that supposed to be ironic? I thought you were only supposed to give someone a piece of your mind. <laughs> You know half your workers are unconscious. The, the, the fumes issue will resolve itself. Look, I'm very busy recalculating the brominating reaction so it is non-explosive. Unless you've got a magic formula for synthesizing joy out of bleach, whiskey and saltpeter, get out! You're planning to lobotomize the people of Wellington Wells, aren't you? Lobotomize is a rather inflammatory metaphor, but yes, I have been asked to synthesize something stronger and more permanent than joy. Who are you? If you force people to have the emotions you want, then you've turned them into robots made out of meat! <laughs> and what do you think you are now? You are just the sum of the neuropeptides swirling in your bloodstream. You see, the current downer outbreak is just a mass chemical imbalance. But I believe I can adjust the internal hormonal settings so the people stay happy no matter what. You can't do that. They told the Wright brothers they couldn't fly. But they did. You can't do that. Oh, my lord. You're that downer they've been warning us about. I'm actually just here for a bottle of cod liver oil. What makes you think I'll give it to you? This bottle of your new formula. If I smash it and you breathe the fumes, will it make you happy forever and always? You mustn't. It makes the patient insane. Ha! Now you can't move until I take my hand off this button. Oh, shit. Now, where's the... 
bloody cod liver oil Sally wanted. This is the cleanest office I've ever seen. Where does he hide his junk? I wonder if he has a secret lair. He's just the sort who would. house movie. Listen, Sally Boyle's gonna come live with us for a bit. Sally Boyle? Why? Because her mum poisoned the whole bloody rest of her family, Arthur. And because we've got a spare bed in the attic now till Percy comes back from Germany. She's your age, you know. She's an idiot. Well then, you two should get along beautifully. Dr. Verloc seems to be quite the collector. Where's the fucking cod liver oil?
Why is he keeping Sally's cod liver oil? It's the only reason I'm in this hideous place. And thank you, Sally, for another wonderful adventure. This doesn't look like where the pills go out. What's going on this conveyor belt? <laughs> Possibly me. That smells awful. This is where they flushed the chemicals. Drain? To where? The river? Might be a way out. If I don't mind pausing in the river, not that anything's alive in it now. We can restore a batch of slightly defective joy. How many batches of slightly defective joy have gone out? Did they fall in, or were they pushed, or were they flushed? <sighs> ah, 
hatch. Lovely. I've never seen so many hatches in my entire life. Clever of them to pave the tracks with good intentions. To sleep, perchance to dream. Some people claim the maple was a naughty Roman ritual about. You will take your joy in the You will take your joy immediately. Wrapping ribbons around the maple by dancing. much to choose from. Just looking. Lovely day for it. What's your fancy? Lovely day for it. Did you find Percy yet? Jack Whirling has got a delightful twang of peach. You can't get Oi! Get out of there! All right! Right as rain! Right as rain! After nearly getting me killed, she better have my bloody letter of transit. So? Sally? Salamander? If she's not here, I swear to God I'll kill her. Hi. I got it. Your precious cod liver oil. Oh, you're a lifesaver. It's a bloody souvenir. God, it's awful. Have you got my letter of transit then? Arthur, we're practically the only two people in this entire city not stoned out of our minds on joy. How are you holding up? What do you care? How are you going to get out? Why won't you just give me the fucking letter of transit? Oh, it's always what you want. Always what you need. Every little Sally whim. Bloody cod liver oil. Do you really th think I'm that awful? Well, just because you fucked my dad while you were living in our house, in my mum's bed? 
Ugh. I'm sorry. Ugh. Look, I don't hate you. In the strangest way, you're completely innocent. You're practically the only one I know who is. It's on the dresser there. Are you going to be okay? I could take you with me. Really? We have to go now. The joy's gone bad. It's going crazy out there. I can't go right now. Why? Oh, God. No. It's not simple. It never is. We'll have to wait till dawn. No, that, that, that's crazy. I, I can't. Oh, you shouldn't have asked for that ridiculous cod liver oil. Look, there's something I haven't been entirely straight with you about. Mm. It's just self-preservation, Sally. No hard feelings. Do you think she really meant it? The kiss and all? What if I went back and said, yes, yes, I'll take you, and they lived happily ever after? No! A girl like that shipwrecks, and the next day she's drinking margaritas under palm trees and you'll suffer for shocks. That is it. Never again. 